Well, we want to bring in a man uh, who's become the historian here of the Tennessee Theater and put together a beautiful book documenting the rich heritage that the theater has in uh, downtown Knoxville. Certainly, Mr. Jack Neely needs no introduction at all, but so we pleasant. welcome you to Live at Five at Four on this 90th birthday. My pleasure to be here. Yeah, thanks for doing it. We mentioned that the book that you put together, it's beautiful, it's ornate, it has a lot of pictures. Tell us about this effort because it took you some time to, to put it together. It did, it took quite a long time. In fact, I think this started about 10 years ago when my friend Bill Snyder and I began talking about the, you know, the Tennessee Theater is so historic. It has so many different stories connected to it. It needs a book and, uh, and we, we thought, began thinking about that in, in one way or another for a while. But it wasn't uh, until a few years later that they really said yes let's do a book about it and it took about a year year and a half or so to do all the research and back then i was just kind of comparing memories i just had lists of names of people who performed here once did not know you know when any of them were here or why they were here why desi arnaz was here or glenn miller or all these other stories uh, and it took just a lot of guessing and cranking through microfilm of newspapers to find these uh, these stories and, and was fifi dorsey really here some people had begun to doubt it and also what was tom mix here w with his horse some people said that's impossible you couldn't have a horse on that stage, but because uh, you'd have to bring it on in all the way from the from Gay Street through the lobby and through the aisles and everything else. But yes, indeed, he had two horses on stage and an acrobatic troupe above him while he had a little rodeo on well, stage. The good news that, is, Jack, yeah. there's 187 doors, so yeah. he was oh, able yeah, to get yeah, in yeah. there. That's right, that's right. You know, yeah, you yeah. talk about the revitalized uh, revitalization of downtown Knoxville, and, and the Tennessee is just, it's right there in the middle of the whole thing. What is it about the place that's, that kind of touches the hearts of East Tennessee. You're right. I mean, there, there are people who, who grew up with the place like I did. I, I think I saw Son of Flubber here. That, that might have been my first movie here in, in the early 60s. And then uh, it was in the 70s, saw all these great old movies here, like with Bogart and everybody else, uh, when they were doing a kind of revival uh, house stuff. But uh, even people, but people who grew up with the place and have a fondness because of, of the nostalgia, but also people who've never been to Knoxville before mm -hmm. walk in here and say, God, what, what is, yeah, this right. is incredible, this is an amazing place. Yeah. All right. Jack Neely, where can people find the book? Uh, they have it uh, at the Tennessee, here at the Tennessee Theater, but also at places like Union Avenue Books. Uh, I hope that other bookstores have it as well, but I know that Union Ave has all my stuff, so yeah. Definitely yeah. a must-have yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Jack yeah. Neely. Yeah. We appreciate you. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Always good yeah. seeing you, Jack. Yeah.